Hi, Michael. It's really Hi. good to meet you. Um, I was in the panel earlier um, hearing you speak um, about um, universal free school meals um, and you know what you think about whether it should the eligibility criteria for free school meals should be expanded. Um, I was really here, like pleased to hear that you would want it to be expanded um, in receipt um, of the universal credit for, for families. Um, but my question to you was mainly about Conservative Party support. We're trying to get mainstream support from um, Conservative Party, the Labour's, um, Liberal Democrats about you know this on, the, on this specific issue. I'm from Birmingham myself. Um, I've had lived, lived experience of food insecurity. I live in a food desert, like Christina was talking about in the panel earlier, um, of you know children being in school not having enough access to good um, nutritious food, and we, we we're hearing the powerful stories from young people about you know the devastating impacts that food insecurity is having on them in schools and at home and the cost of living crisis is just getting worse and at, 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 and at this point it's not just cost of living these families are struggling to survive and giving children one good nutritious meal in a school is really really important for their well-being for their physical health for their mental health as well um, as well as you know um, so i was wondering from you is how would be the best what would be the best way to get cross-party support from this because it's quite difficult right now with people with differing opinions on this and it's become a really politicised issue when really every single child should have access to food no matter where they live. I couldn't agree with you more and, and thank you for the campaigning work that you and everyone else have been doing. Um, I think there are two things I'd say. I think the first thing is making the cases you have on the basis of facts. You know, it's inescapably the case that there are young people who are living in food poverty and uh, a relatively small amount of money compared to some of the other budgets that government has control over can make a really powerful difference. And, and the second thing is um, having strong advocates. So as well as young people, I think if we have head teachers and those who are leading good and outstanding schools, the sorts of people that politicians cannot ignore making that case as well, that helps. So for Conservatives, of course, we're always going to worry about getting absolute value for money. But you've made the case that children will do better in school and contribute more to society and the economy if they're healthy. And I think also um, it's very difficult for Conservatives to argue against good head teachers who are running model schools like your own who say, look, this would really help us. It will improve everything from student behaviour to um, uh, 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 outcomes overall. So the two things I think are evidence and advocates, and, and I think you can win this campaign.